Hello and thanks for joining us for what is really quite an exciting video this evening. So this is to go alongside the competition that Kirith is running to help you get your entries in. Uh, as you may have seen on Kirith's channel if you're watching this, he's running a contest to win a GT Omega Prime rig with a, an RS6 seat I believe it is. And there's also a runner-up prize as well to, to win a seat um, as, a, yeah, as a second prize. So what you've got to do to get yourself into the competition is register a top 1000 global time on this week's time challenge so you can go into sport mode on GT Sport go down to time trial and you'll see there's an option for two different time trials you can do and this is the group 2 at Spa so you want to be going and doing that uh, competition the car I'd recommend using is the Nissan GTR as I think that's the fastest one around there brake balance I had on even so at zero and if you register a top 1000 time what you then want to do is go to Kirith's channel uh, so it's K-I-R-E-T-H if you're not already subscribed make sure you're subscribed to his YouTube you also want to follow GT Omega on Twitter and then comment on Kirith's video so not on this video but on Kirith's video your PSN ID and your position in the worldwide rankings at the time when you've done the lap so uh, make sure that you do those things and then you'll be entered into the draw to potentially win what is a really amazing rig so um, best of luck to everybody who's doing this or if you're just watching this video to get a good qualifying time for fun then uh, likewise I hope it helps you out this at the time of setting the lap was good enough for top 150 so if you're anywhere near this lap you're going to be well in the running for uh, the contest of where you need to be and hopefully it gives you some useful pointers so let's get into the track guide now and break it down and with these group 2 cars you really want to use uh, the, the most of the aero so at high speeds you can be really really confident but it is a powerful car so at low speeds be really careful with the throttle but once you're travelling at a fair speed you'll see we can really throw the car in some corners and it just grips amazingly so let's break it down and see how we do. Here we go then so as we said we've got the brake balance set on zero for all of this lap I'm not changing it and the first brake marker we're looking out for is just off the 100 meter board so after you come past that 100 board, hard on the brakes, once you're past the 50 board you can start trail braking down into first gear and just clip a little bit of that yellow and red kerb as you come around the corner. Do be careful when you're feeding the power in, so we're saying about being gentle on the throttle with this car when you're at low speeds and that's definitely one of those situations. But here you're going to feel the car grip incredibly, so be really gentle with the steering input. You see on the red dot there as I'm going up through Eau Rouge, I hardly use any steering input at all, so don't sort of whack your thumbstick from left to right or your, your wheel aggressively over because you just need a tiny little bit of steering input there to keep the car stable. On the kerb here, so at the start of the red and yellow kerb, heavy on the brakes, down to third, trail braking in, then using second for a moment and try and get your two tyres on that right hand kerb. You see I short shift to third as I lift to come around the left hander here, then a blast of power, keep it in third and just lift and coast and then get back on the power, uh, power as you clip the kerb on the exit there. Again for this next corner we're looking out for the start of the kerb, so you see a brake just on the kerb there, aiming in and really patience is the key, so down second initially, I do use first just for a moment to rotate the car but you can just keep it in second, but you've really got to wait until you're about halfway around that corner before you start feeding the power and, and short shift to third, then just a dab of brake just before that black marshal board and I make a mistake there, I downshift to second uh, and it unsettles the car, you just want to stay in third as you go around that corner. Looking out here for the black signal box there on the right, so you see just a dab of brake, only about 50%. I use 4th to turn the car in, but then straight back up to 5th to get on the power. And then it's flat out through the second half of this corner. And next we're looking out for the start of the kerb again, so just before the start of the red and yellow kerb. Down to 3rd initially, but then 2nd to help rotate the car in. But once again, short shifting back up to 3rd to get on the power. Stay in 3rd, lift, use this kerb on your left hand side to rotate the car a little bit and then just feed the power in in third gear. On this kerb again, just before the start of the red and yellow kerb, initially using second to turn the car in, but once again short shifting to third to get on the power. And this next right hander, as long as you turn in early enough, is flat out. So you do need to turn in a little bit earlier than you think, but you can just come along flat on that kerb on the left, turn the car in nice and early, and you'll be flat through there. We're also going to be flat through Blanchemont, so no lift needed here just turn in very gently, you don't need to again be aggressive with the steering input at that high speed and next we're looking out for the 150 meter board, so just after the 150 meter board heavy on the brake, staying out to the left hand side start trail braking in once you're down into second but then do use first to get in between uh, the sections of the chicane here and you don't want to use a lot of power in between the right and the left hand part of the chicane so you see I just touched the throttle a little bit 
but you mainly want to lift off to make sure the car rotates to get around the second half of the chicane for the left-hander. Uh, that was good enough for a 204.7, so I uh, hope that gives you some pointers and helps out. We're going to watch the speed, uh, the, the lap, sorry, now at full speed. Uh, please do drop a like if you've enjoyed the video, and good luck with your qualifying and the competition.